Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Hi everyone, you've got Sierra here today, and today we're going to talk about filtering show tanks. So let's start with the basics. So first you're going to have your mechanical filtration. That's responsible for picking up debris and particles in your aquarium. So for instance, you have, like for instance, the picky filter floss we have here. You also have sponges. Sponges also work as biological filtration as well. So let's get on to our second type of filtration. So biological filtration, things like ceramic rings, bio balls, and again the sponge, all hold on to your nitrifying bacteria. And lastly, you're going to have chemical filtration, which is things like carbon, chemicure, purigen, things of that nature. So let's talk about what we use. So as you can see, we have a 75 gallon aquarium here behind us. This tank here is uh, actually just temporary. It's not much of a show tank right now, but uh, let's get on with it anyways. So currently we use a canister filter. We rely on this for our biological filtration. So uh, with that, we're using an API Rena Filstar. It's an XPXL rated for a 265 gallon aquarium. So our feeling is with show tanks especially, you really can't over filter. The more you filter the aquarium, the less maintenance you actually have to do. Um, that doesn't mean you don't have to do regular water changes. It just means that you're getting less debris and waste to collect in the aquarium. So it's a little bit easier on gravel backing and things of that nature. So um, of course in the canister, we're using uh, pinky filter bio balls. We have a video on when we set that up. But uh, we also have the uh, filter floss in there as well. So that's really important with your canisters is to have good mechanical filtration be placed before your biological filtration. This is so that your biological filtration doesn't get clogged up with particles and debris. You want to keep these areas clean so that your nitrifying bacteria has a place to live and collect. Now we also use a hang on back filter. So the hang on back filter is used for mechanical filtration. We just have a cheap uh, hang on back filter here rated for a 60 gallon. We have that filled with the filter floss. So to make that easier, we use power heads. Uh, the reason for the power head is it's great at directing flow inside your aquarium. So we use that to our advantage and we have it directed towards the intake of our hang on back. This allows the debris and waste to circulate within the aquarium and gather at the hang on back where it's then collected. Many times we've been recommended to add sponges to the intakes of our filter. We've never done this for a few reasons. Uh, for one, it's not the nicest looking and for two, all of your waste is collecting on the outside of the sponge. That means it's still inside your tank. So when it comes to um, cleaning, it's a lot, you're going to have a lot more waste in there. It's a little bit harder on maintenance. And especially in a show tank, you don't want debris and particles floating around. So we find having it actually be collected within the hang on back filter works great. Another reason for the hang on back filter is because it's so easy on maintenance. It's a lot easier than cleaning out the canister. Uh, it extends the interval between the cleaning of our canister because our hang on back is collecting most of the debris and uh, like I said it's easy to clean. We can very easily swap out the floss, swap out the sponges, give them a clean super quickly and that can be done on a regular basis. Um, as you can see we had an Eheim video where we showed you our clean out that I believe that was about after three months of running um, and it really wasn't even that dirty. I think one of those contributing factors is the fact that we have the second form of filtration. So it really is uh, making it a lot easier on maintenance for our canister filter and for gravel vacuum. So I hope you guys got to learn a little bit more about our aquarium and how we maintain our show tanks. Uh, we've never actually relied on chemical filtration. We've never found the need for it. Uh, we've kept our tank pretty clean and crystal clear without relying on that. Uh, we hope you we hope we gave you a better understanding of how we do it and gave you some ideas on filtering your tank. Uh, you guys have yourself a great day and thank you for watching. Are you listening? Damn.